Well, Thomas, a very warm welcome. Thank you. How does it feel to be a Blackburn Rovers player? I think it feels good because, um, of course, it's a big club, uh, big history, and uh, yeah, champion of the Premier League once. So yeah, it's, it, I'm looking forward to it. How much of that history did you know before this move all came about? Well, to be honest, very fast because uh, when I was younger, I used to watch match of the day every every Sunday with my brother. So I, I knew uh, quite a lot about the club, and uh, yeah, that's why. When you first heard about the potential mm -hmm. of this move, then did that immediately come to mind? And you think, wow, what a great opportunity! I think I was immediately uh, interested because it's a childhood dream to play in England. Uh, for me, it's like the capital of, of, of football and especially the, the championship is a tough league and a competitive league. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. What do you think is, is so special about football in this country? It's like I said, I think it's uh, like the passion for football. I think uh, the support, obviously. Um, I hope uh, there will be a lot of supporters soon in, in, in the stadiums. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all about passion in, in England and uh, yeah, good quality of the leagues and, and, and of the players. It's not quite your first taste of football in this country though, is it? When you were very, very young, it very nearly happened for yeah. you? Yeah, I was close to, to, uh, to join uh, some English clubs when I was younger, when I was yeah, 14, 15 years old. Um, I used to do some trials there. And that's why I, I got the taste of English football, and uh, that's that's why it was a childhood dream to come to to England and play here. From that point on, did you always think I want to go back if if the chance comes? If the chance was there, I would I would take it, and and uh, that was always in mind. I think also for my family, we are a sports family, so uh, there was always the ambition to to come and play in England. Tell us about that sports family then. For those who um, know. My father is, uh, of course, uh, a, a prof, uh, professional volleyball player. Uh, he came from Poland to, to Belgium. Uh, he had uh, also uh, some years in uh, Germany as a professional. And uh, yeah, we are very sports minded. And uh, yeah, that's nice. Both good with your hands then? Hopefully. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, it, it helped me uh, during my youth. Uh, to develop some 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 more skills uh, as a goalkeeper. So yeah. At what age was it always going to be football for you? At what point did you think that's what I want to do when I'm older? I started when I was six and and seven. Um, I was watching the games. I was uh, interested in football every day, uh, together with my brother. Uh, so I knew, and actually it was in my mind only one option, and, and that's to be a professional football player. And you've had plenty of experience since. How good an age do you feel at in terms of your development? How do you feel that you're you're coming towards your prime in, in goalkeeping terms? I think I think the best years are yet to come uh, as a goalkeeper. Uh, they say between yeah 27, 33. I think it's the best age for a goalkeeper to to be at the at his best level. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And sometimes you need a new challenge to help you move to that next level as well? Of course, you, you need to set uh, challenges every day. And uh, yeah, today is the challenge uh, Blackburn Rovers. So uh, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I will give my best. You mentioned that the championship before, you'll know it, it's a hectic league. Mm -hmm. There's so many games, yeah. they come so thick and fast. Is that part of the attraction, just so much football around here? Yeah, as a football player, you want to be... Uh, on the football pitch every day and, and, and play as many games as possible and I think that's uh, that's possible here in uh, in the championship and, and like I said it will be a tough league uh, competitive and uh, yeah that's why it attracts uh, the football players and the ultimate goal how, how much would you like to play in the Premier League in the future with this football club of course it's it, it has to be the ambition and uh, we have to be ambitious and both realistic as well so I think last season uh, as I looked up, is 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 was was quite good. Um, and you need to do better this season and, and try to do it better and uh, maybe to get our way into the playoffs or uh, and and to get to the the first uh, league. Is that what the manager has spoken to you about? Sort of the, the club moving forward and getting closer to that promotion that we yeah, all want. Yeah, he sounds very ambitious and uh, also step by step. He's realistic as well. And um, it's, it's, it will be a process and uh, it's a long, long journey, I think, also with, uh, with a lot of games. 
um, and step by step and uh, to be uh, as high as possible. Now in an ideal world you'd turn up tomorrow morning, you get to meet all the new teammates, you go straight into training but we're not quite in an ideal world at the moment. Just give us an idea of what it's been like having to go through the transfer process, moving clubs in, in the current environment. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's quite difficult because I'm, I'm coming from Belgium uh, to the UK and uh, there are some rules of quarantine so I, I need to first I need to be first in quarantine uh, but yeah it's a little bit strange to be honest because I've been tested twice a week uh, in Belgium as well and uh, my last test was also negative so it's it's a bit strange but uh, these are the rules and I have to follow up the rules so what are you gonna do for the next couple of weeks then while you're here how, how are you gonna pass the time uh, to be honest, I will not sit sit in the couch. I think uh, I will try to go to the gym to to yeah to 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 train uh, on myself. I think and uh, to be as fit as possible. And a couple of weeks to sort of learn even more about English football and the the, the season ahead, the teams we might face. Things yeah, like I will have some time to to study more about the other teams and uh, about the, the environment. So I'm looking forward to that. Now you're already then looking forward to day one training, game one when you can actually. Play, is there already that excitement within you? Yeah, I think as, uh, as as you make your transfer, you want to be as fast as possible on the pitch, and and to get with the with the team and uh, yeah, to uh, to enjoy uh, the trainings together and 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 yeah, to get that much feeling. Just a final one. I know you're on social media and you've had messages already from mm -hmm. the Blackburn supporters. Yes. They've been very welcoming, mm -hmm. happy to see you come here. What does that mean to, to you to to have that reception from them? Of course, you feel you feel uh, good about this because. Uh, they welcome you, uh, they wish you the best. Um, I feel they are very fanatic about their club and uh, I think it will be a good match. Welcome to the club again, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you.